2013 and uh, it's going to be a kind of a short show today just had a lot of stuff going on so it's just going to be a short one uh, I'm going to cover everything got some headlines um, after watching Smackdown last week um, I realized the team Los Locals or Los Locals I think that's the way you say it that were defeated by Los Menadores was made up of Chimera, uh, next of, of next and YouTube fame. You hear me talk about them. So if you want to know who Chimera was, um, you know, uh, that was who that was. Uh, he was the lighter skinned uh, luchador, uh, the real dark tan guy. Uh, I know who he is, um, but there hadn't even anybody talk about it, so I'm not going to mention who it is. Um, I appreciate Rihanna Mater for the info, but uh, I'm not going to announce it. Uh, luchadors, even though he may not be a true luchador, uh, he may be. Uh, but I'm not going to mention his name because I think that's kind of out of respect. And uh, Seth is home from school, so normally I do the show in the, earlier in the day, but I had a lot of stuff going on. So, um,. But it's good to see Chimera. You've been hearing me talk about it. Maybe somebody at WWE is listening. So, um, Tammy Stitch or uh, Sonny uh, voiced her disapproval of Michael Hayes' actions regarding uh, him offering Rosa Mendez alcohol. He has unofficially been suspended. She stated he was out of line. She talked about her battle with abuse and uh, pretty much said it was out of line and WWE handled it correctly. Um, now we don't know why, but Christian has been pulled off of some some weekend events and some other things. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, uh, nothing on WWE.com. Nothing that I've seen so far. Um, TNA this week actually gets a 0.82. It was down from the 0.95 that they got last week. Uh, they have an average of uh, for this current numbers they have an average of 1.0 let's see one million and eighty four thousand let's see yeah one million eighty four thousand viewers um you know it's actually pretty it's been pretty low for this month that's the lowest this month um uh, there's been some heat on uh, the totally uh total diva cast member and uh, junior diva Eva Marie uh, a lot of people backstage are saying she her ego is a little too big for somebody that has as little of ring experience as she does. Um, uh, apparently, they let her have this match on Raw just to set her up for fail to show her that she's not as good as she thinks she is. Uh, being that this Raw match that she had was uh, her second one in the WWE, period. Um, I'll tell you what else is wrong with her. She needs to get rid of them Miley Cyrus uh, ring outfit. It makes her butt look weird, okay? Uh, quit letting somebody use something that don't fit them. That's just, uh, mm -hmm. like Big E, y'all need to get him something else to wear too. Uh, I have noticed a little change in Big E's. Uh, I haven't seen him here lately, but the last time I did see him, his, his legs, leg part on his outfit was a little lower. So that's, you know, maybe people are listening to the fans. Um, the Shield has been made part of the top five uh, wrestling tag teams. Really? They're part of the top five, huh? I have you know that this list was very, very small. And to quote the person that I saw this on, it was very weak. Uh, the Hardys weren't in it. Um, there's a lot of people left out. Um, the Shield might be on the top five people who don't defend the titles. You know, of course, you know that's not always their fault. That's you know, WWE decides when they're going to defend the title. But you know, come on, top five, really? Overall, really? I don't even think they're top five this year. Maybe, maybe, maybe this year. But top five overall? No. Nah. Um, WD working on a new DVD Blu-ray set for Shawn Michaels. That's pretty cool. You know, he's added a lot of stuff here lately. So, uh, apparently, uh, Bray Wyatt was reported to have a leg injury. Uh, they people were there at the show actually reported 
Now, this is unconfirmed by WWE. So, you know, uh, it's just somebody that said they were there, saw him leave on crutches, and it was reported by the PWTorch.com. Uh, however, no official report has been issued by WWE. Uh, Ken Shamrock has said he was interested in returning um, to the wrestling ring. Um, talks of the WWE, talks of WWE and TNA. Um, uh, I just you say, well, he's gonna go to TNA. Well, there's only one problem about that. He's not gonna get paid hardly anything, and if he's going back in to make money, then he's trying to try to go to WWE. So I don't know. Um, we're gonna, we're going to move on to Raw results, and like I said, this show is going to be kind of kind of short. Um, got a lot of stuff going on, and I'm actually trying to uh, do some figuring, and I'm thinking about dropping it to one show a week, and then doing some reporting during, you know, shows and stuff like that, um, just to make it more interesting. You know, people get tired of seeing the same stuff, and a lot of times when I talk on Tuesday, you know, I end up talking the same some of the same stuff I talk on Tuesday on. <laughs> Saturday, so I can actually, you know, do my start my notes on Saturday, and you know, hey. So I'm thinking about dropping into one show a week, and then actually doing some, you know, live reporting from some shows. You know, uh, basically I could, you know, do some raw reports, some raw highlights. You know, kind of kind of get out of the the groove that we're in. So um, I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna drop it to one show a week. Um, you know, maybe, I don't know, I'm, I'm just working on it, uh, good thing, I, if I do one today, I don't have to, I got plenty of time to worry about it, so, uh, hopefully Saturday, by Saturday, I can decide what I want to do, you know, uh, I got a little, I've been kind of busy the last couple of weeks, so, you know, it's been kind of hard to have the time to sit down and, you know, watch, been feeling kind of bad, so, you know, hey. Um, Raw starts off with Randy confronting uh, Shawn Michaels and nearly gets a sweet chin music. Um, Orton defeats Miz uh, after the lights faded, basically in the middle of the match. Orton takes advantage when the Wyatt show up at the top of the ramp and hit Miz with the RKO and then disappears. Um, basically, Wyatt tells uh, Miz, "I don't want, I don't wish to see you suffer, uh, so I'm just gonna." Put you down. Wow, that's kind of strong. Uh, Fandango goes on to defeat Santino with interference from Summer, uh, which she hasn't been doing that much, so this is something new. Uh, Last Minute Ores defeats 3MB. Now I give 3MB a lot, of, a lot of a lot of heck. I, I don't I don't like the actual 3MB thing, but the people that actually make up Seth, I know you want to say hello. But shh, okay. They know you're here. They know you're always here, unless you're in. I do it while you're in school. Um. Anyway, but uh, you know, I give Three and B some some flack when they first come out. It's not actually the members of Three and B I really don't like. It's the 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 Three and B ID idea. It's 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 just not right. You got Drew McIntyre. I mean, you've got you've got people in this in this peop in you know that actually can can wrestle. You know, and do we are we supposed to believe that every week, that every time they're on TV, that they're going to lose? I mean, come on, you got to give them some kind of win every once in a while. I mean, if they were a basketball team, I mean, the coach would already be fired. So, um, you know, um. Triple H and Stephanie came out. Blah, 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 blah. Same old crap. Uh, Ryback defeats our truth in a beat the clock challenge. He, he finished the match in five minutes and 44 seconds. Uh, the Real Americans defeated uh, Tons of Fun. Uh, and we had another roundy round from Cesaro. Uh, I'm wondering where they're going to go with this. It's kind of funny, though. The one with Kali was just. I want to see him do the roundy round on Big Chef. Yeah. Uh, no surprise that Tamina beat Bree. I, I, ha I have to say, stop hitting the wall. Son, please. My son. Daddy loves you, but you need to be quiet, okay? Stop hitting the wall, okay? Anyway. Um, 
But, um, you know, uh, basically, it was no surprise that Tamina beat Bree. I have to give it to her, though. Uh, she's really, she's really put, uh, you know, picked up her pace, you know, picked up her game a little bit. Uh, I guess this was with her sister being out. Of course, after Tamina won, basically, she ended up being tortured by the Black Widow by AJ. So, CM Punk defeats Axel in a beat the clock, um, to set up a Hell in the Cell with him and him versus uh, Heyman and Ryback. Uh, the Walrus has nowhere to run. Del Rio defeats Brian uh, via count out due to Orton going after Bree. And then when Orton, um, Brian goes out there, uh, goes back there to try to help, Orton ends up, you know, jumping all over him. Uh, Cody Rhodes uh, and Goldust defeat Rollins and Reigns, become the new WWE Tag Champions. That's right, Cody Rhodes. And Goldust actually defeated Rollins and Reigns to be the new WWE Tag Team Champions. Uh, this match made Raw, uh, made the whole show. Uh, Goldust uh, proved he's in the best shape of his life, uh, showing that he's here to make up for lost time. And that's a quote from Cody Rhodes' Twitter. Um, and, you know, Cody's showing why he is the future of the business. Uh, Big Show sticking it to the man, uh, Triple H. And also, uh, not to mention the shield, it was good to see um, what was truly good for business. And I, I really liked the show. I, re I really thought it was okay as far as the with the ending. But uh, that's pretty much the show notes. I'm going to run over some uh, some of our sponsors. Like I said, this show's going to be pretty short. Had a lot going on the last couple of days. So. And Seth is really making his... his uh, like I said before, I'm thinking about changing how many times we have the show this week, just so I can do some, you know, highlights on some shows as we watch. Um, I need everybody to take a look at Zach Pack Promotions. They're our first sponsor. Uh, they're Zach Pack Promotions on Facebook, at ZPack Promotions on Twitter, and ZPackPromotions.com. Uh, if you're interested about busting for autism, that's B-U-S-T-I-N. Number four, autism. Um, basically, uh, they're trying to raise money, you know, for the try to find a cure for autism and doing some other stuff. It's November the 16th and 17th. Katie, Texas, you can have lunch with the stars. Um, Goldust will not be able to be there due to his contract changes in WWE. They have added Marilyn Burns from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. George DeWitt from Three Years Company has also been landed. You got Sergeant Slaughter, Gene Skinsey. Greg the Hammer, Valentine, Joey Image, Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, Honky Tonk Man, Rikishi, um, Selena Gaspar, Houston Area Ghostbusters, and Ecto, Extreme Paranormals, Jason Gowen, and uh, so you've got True TV's Jackie Pusey, Iron Man 3's Iron Patriot, actor Robert Zegar, uh, Jim Decker, uh, Hand of God author Tony Acree, and NPC bodybuilder Brett Trevino. And, um, you know, try to give them, a, if you follow them on Facebook or Twitter, try to give them a shout out for us. Tell them that uh, we sent you. Um, um, uh, fight Disability Slurs .wordpress .com. Uh You can find them on Twitter. That's uh, Fight N D I S Slurs. Uh, we're trying to eradicate any kind of slurs. Uh, that's racial, anything. Um, I don't know why, for some reason, my camera's kind of lopsided on my uh, I also want to thank Throttle for giving us New Blood, our theme song, which you heard at the first of the show. I appreciate that. And uh, you can find their stuff uh, on iTunes or singles and albums. They do have a new album coming out called Razor Wire Finish Line. And as always, I'd like to give a shout out to Blast52. And you can follow them at, at Blast52. Or at Blast 52 Drummer, that's Stephanie. She's the drummer of the group. And uh, they have a new Weekend Pretend. It's a new EP, and it's available on Amazon and also iTunes. So you can search them under Blast 52. All right, we're going to let, um, I'm going to let, uh, like I said, it's going to be a short show today. Just been a lot of stuff going on. So, um, but I'm going to let uh, Throttle take us out, and uh, I will, um, uh, See y'all later this week.